Hey guys, Crewman here, and you may or may not have heard about Zealous, X-E-L-I-S. It is a new coin that came out about two weeks or so-ish ago, and now that we officially have a mining pool, and you can either use the wallet app or mine to an exchange, whichever one you prefer, I feel like now is a great time to get a guide going so that you guys can start mining Zealous. So in this video, I will basically explain Zealous from a hardware perspective. I'm not going to go into any details on the coin. Uh, I don't endorse or I don't really like to talk about coins in that sense. But I am just going to be going over the hardware aspect. I'm going to show you how to get on the mining pool. And I'm going to show you how to set up the miner in Hive OS. And then I am going to go over uh, overclocks that I'm using on my GPUs. I did a little bit of testing, not quite the level of Ironfish testing. But I know enough to get you guys started. Uh, obviously, you will have to decide how best you want to run your GPUs. And remember, my overclocks are not your overclocks. Silicon Lottery applies. And this video is not financial advice and it is not a vote of confidence for this coin. It is just explaining to you how to mine it. So before we go on, please remember to hit that sub button. It really helps the channel. The march to 4,000 continues. And please hit that like button to appease the algorithm. All right, so the first thing you have to do is set up a K1 pool account. I'm biased, but I would recommend that you use my link only because it helps me out. Uh, and I get 1% of a percent of your mining income. And all of those proceeds go back to the channel so I can make more guides like this. If you choose not to use that link, you can click on this one right here or you can just go to k1pool.com. Otherwise, please use my link right here. You just click on the link from my channel and you just basically create an account. You just go follow this, all this information and you type it in. Okay, so once you get it set up, I'm just going to go over, I'm going to go over my 3070 flight sheet right here and I'm going to show you how to get it set up. So essentially... What you have to do is you have to just type in uh, XEL and it'll make, and the coin will show up in your flight sheet. You got to make a wallet for it. Like I said, I'm mining directly to K1. For the pool, I configure it in the miner. And for the miner, I found it was easiest to use custom. Uh, let me expand these windows right here so you can see. So I will put the GitHub installation URL uh, in the comment or in the description down below and then once you type that in it will auto populate one zero miner and the uh, hash rate algorithm you just put your standard wallet dot worker right here this is the k1 pool that i mind you you can either use solo or pool i am currently pool mining as i am not really a gambling man right now and then you just go down here credit to t-swift for actually helping me get this set up earlier uh you just you fill out these commands right here and i will put these in the comments down below and then one thing i do want to note you need to put a uh, these commands right here if you want to use zill and this is the these are the ones that are highlighted um, if you don't want to use Zill, you can get rid of those the core clock lock 2 and the memory lock 2 basically any settings with a 2 after it are for your zill settings uh, i actually need to tweak my zill settings a little bit but uh i just wanted to show you how to get this up and running early and i will update the description down below once i get the uh, zill settings that i like okay so here are some tests that i did i basically took one single 3070 and i put it on one of my test benches with a pmd and then i have a small two card 4060 ti rig that i played around with as well so let me give you a quick rundown you can just pause it if you want to see more of it but i will just give you a quick rundown so this overclocks uh, like a core algorithm, it does use some memory, so you will not be able to triple mine it. Uh, look at think of it like Nexa in that regard. Anyway, um, one interesting thing I noticed was for the 30 series is the core clock lock and the core clock offset. The thing I saw, I saw the most efficiency when I was at. Uh, let me pull it. Up. I showed the most efficiency when I kind of dropped everything down to about core core clock off at about 1470. With a three with a core offset of 300, uh, the memory clock offset. I mean, you you kind of can shave one or a few watts off of it. So it's up to you if you want to use it or not. Uh, me personally, let me show you the settings that I'm using. I'm basically using these settings right here as I'm going for hash rate over 
I, I'm prioritizing hash rate over power, uh, like over power savings because this is a relatively new coin and I want to get as much yield as I possibly can. Uh, but, you know, you end up somewhere between 53 to about 65 kilohash is what they call it, depending on if you go for efficiency settings or not. Uh, like I said, these uh, I found these to be basically the most efficient settings right here. Um, I do want to note that the power usage jumps around on the P uh, on the power measurement device, similar to Dynex. I don't know why it does that. Like I said, I haven't really done a deep, deep dive into this. This was me basically spending an hour with my 3060 or my 3070 and my 3060 Ti or my 4060 Ti. Uh, as far as if, so remember, these are the 3070 settings. I don't, I, I probably wouldn't mind with any GDDR6X ones. I have a 3070 Ti, but I just clocked it like a 3070. And a 3060 Ti, you probably want to lower the core clock offset to about 1800 or 1700 if you're going to push them like I did. I was actually pleasantly surprised how much you could push the core clock. Uh, or you could push the core clock on these. I haven't done that in a long time. So again, here are my settings right here. And as I've already said, the memory clock offset, or I'm sorry, the memory clock lock doesn't really do much and the memory offset doesn't do anything. So if we move down to the 40 series, I only really did the 4060 Ti. Uh, and I use these overclocks just for all my 40 series because the 40 series, my 40 series rig is not playing nice right now. It might just be due to the temperatures. But essentially what I did with the 40 series was I found that uh, all that really matters again is the core clock lock and the core clock, clock offset. I know for the higher end 40 series from what I've been told that you can lock the memory or do an offset and that will help reduce power. But... I'll, all I've basically done with my 154060 Ti's was I um, I essentially settled into like a 2700 core clock and an offset of 275, which gives me about 69 mega hash at, to 67 67 to 69 mega hash at 78 to 81 watts. Uh, that's kind of the spread I'm getting on all 15 of my 40 series. I did not plug them into a PMD though. Uh, and you definitely don't need any to do anything with the memory on the 4060 Ti's because the memory bus is so small. But like I said, you may want to look into a memory clock offset. Uh, I'm sorry, a memory offset or a memory clock lock. Uh, I will update this video if I find any better settings on my 40 series. As far as anything else, I, like I said, since this is a core algorithm, I would not mind with any HBM cards on this. One zero minor does not work with AMD as well. So you're basically stuck with Nvidia and whether or not you want to mine Zill is up to you, but I would strongly recommend mining Zill. That is it for this video. I hope it helps. This is just an early guide that I wanted to get out to help you guys get started. Ask any questions in the comments down below. Look at this algorithm like a core algorithm. Uh, it You cannot triple mine with it because it does use memory. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped. Please like and subscribe. Crew man.